morning pot pickers from a sunny Battersea Park. We're doing a really special vlog and it's a for sale vlog. And it's Richard's Sunrider. <laughs> Today we're going to show you all the nice bits on it and how nice a Velimobile it is and I'll test ride it as well and let you know what it's like to ride and uh, hopefully it will stay in England and if not it will go to a Velimobile enthusiast who will enjoy it for many years to come. Right so let's take you around the bike and let's have a look and Richard can help us here. Richard is here. <laughs> okay Richard so let's where should we start? We we'll start on the rear then. Look, okay. We got a Falco e motor. Uh huh. It's basically programmable. Yep. So um, we've got pedal assist and power assist. Fantastic. And it's probably one of the most efficient motors in the world. I, in fact, I know the guy that designed it. Yeah. It's very, very top stuff. Yeah. Uh, let's let me go around to the front. We've got some loop wheels on there. It basically cool. really is a beautiful suspension system. It's very, very high tech. Uh huh. And some real science has gone into that, my friend. But it just smooths out the ride completely. Brilliant. And uh, what else we got? Got lovely looking carbon fibre as well yes, on the top. We've got a carbon fibre roof made in England, especially for so it's this. A, a lot lighter as well with that on, rather than the standard fiberglass yeah. uh, top. It's made it much lighter too. Uh huh. I can't remember the name of this light, but it's the. It's New the, and all. Uh, IQ. It's the so IQ it's, Lumitech. So it's got um, a daylight built into it that comes off and on. Brilliant. I can't remember the. And you've got a luggage compartment here, by the looks of things. Yes, and it's open, I think. Yeah. You oh can wow. Go in there, yeah. Oh, that open. is cool. We've got some super magnets on here. Also, as we come around here, these um, covers that allow you to get access to the steer the uh, steering column, and it's all connected by super magnets, which is quite genius, really. So that just enables oh, you to get. That's fantastic, you can get straight in there. Yeah, so you can get straight in there. You've got that on work. both sides as well. Yeah, yeah on both sides. Awesome. Um, it looks and stunning. We've got our lovely cone mirrors. We've got the Flevo. We've got a Flavo roof on the top. We've got some indicators all the way around. Uh -huh. In fact, that's a brand new lighting system. Apart yeah. from the front indicators of the original, the rest are all brand new. That's all quite recently. Okay. And, and uh, what else is there? here? So these are standard or are they additional? Uh, no, these are all extra. These are, one is a, a standard light. Let's put them on. And one is a brake light. Okay. So yeah. that's your tail, the big circular tail yeah. light. So and uh, these, do they light up? Yes. One, only one's connected. Oh, okay. Because two was too bright. Brilliant. Yeah. So, so Mick, your yeah. friend Mick, disconnected it for me. Oh, okay. But we can just plug it in and it will come back on. Brilliant. You've got the turn signals and whatnot, yeah. They all... Yeah, yeah, we've got turn signals. Yep. Cool. Awesome. Fantastic. Okay, so that's the exterior of the um, Sunrider. And this is a Sunrider Mark 1, I believe. Yes, it's an original, the better model, obviously. Yep. Right, so along. we Just start off, hammer. everything's off now. Yep. Okay, so we've got our little rocker switches. That's power for the lights and that actually turns the lights on and this third one mm -hmm. is for the Harley Davidson sound system okay which I've not got connected at the so moment. So that's for the sound system here? Yes. Radio. So basically I'm running two batteries, one's a spare battery mm -hmm. and what I plan to do is just instead of running that to a separate battery just rig it to this one here all right so it's just yeah. plug and play stuff really I just haven't got around to doing it but okay so we've got the up this side we got yeah. the rocker buttons for your lights and stuff. Yeah, that's for the lights. And on here? Uh, that's the indicators, uh -huh. left and right. This is the throttle, twist throttle. Or you, and you also got pedal assist as well, so you can use both. I've turned the pedal assist off because I hate it. Basically, I like to use this to take off, to get up to speed, and then pedal without any power. Ah, so if that makes I sense. I just use this to take off and then I use the pedals. And then, yeah, you don't use the battery again. I, no, oh. I don't. I hate the pedal assist. I don't want any assist. Oh, just so the pedal assist would be on constantly if you had it on. If yes. You see what I mean. Yes. Uh, oh, the, basically, this, the motor comes with a software that connects to your computer and then you can program it or even to your mobile phone and you can basically turn it off and on and program okay. it whatever it is you want to That's do. That's cool. Uh, what else have we got in here? That's about it. We've got a horn. Oh yeah, these mount bars, in fact I'm going to put these speakers on there, mm -hmm. so that's something I should have done today. 
and this is an interface for the Falco motor. Oh, but it's not, I've got it turned off at the moment, but basically... Is um, that for the pedal assist? Yes, you can do that for the pedal assist and turn the power assist off and on. Okay. But, um, I, I don't use it, John. I don't like power assist. I uh -huh. like to work myself. So the option is there for yes. the, whoever purchases yes, it will have. Yes, and you can program it. You can program the torque values. Yeah. And make sure that the legal limits for your country, wherever it is in the world, so you can program the power. Uh -huh. I think it's up to about 1,000 watts. And uh, what's the, the battery power on the, so on the ampage or whatever? We've got two batteries. Yeah. One's a 20 amp hour, 48 volt. Mm -hmm. And one's a 15 amp hour, 48 volt. Cool. And basically, they're, it's about, I don't yep. know. It's something like a 90 to 100 mile range. Wow. So I did That's 50, phenomenal. I did 55 miles with this 20 hour battery. Yeah. A couple of months ago, when we went to met Paul, oh yes, to do the, the, he, he cleaned it all up for yeah, me. Yeah, just made it look new again. And uh, I had forty percent battery left when I got home. And that's after a fifty-five so, mile 55 run, miles, hills I, flat, and everything. Yes, but a lot of that was pedal power. Yeah, you know, I was really using the motor just to get just up to fifteen miles an hour, and then just take and over. Just my time. Yeah, yeah, that's but, brilliant. Um, she's beautiful. You get her up to forty-five miles an hour, and she's just solid as a rock. Fantastic. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful oh. joy to ride. And I noticed uh, in the front you have a schlump. Uh, yes, yeah, so we've got a schlump drive on the front. You basically uh, just, just you push that and it goes onto slump, slump mode now. Now it's really, I can turn it with my hand. Yeah, yeah it's now it's really like granny mode. Yeah. And then you just push this side and now it's back to normal again. Fantastic. So in a, in a sense, you've got sort of double the, the gear ratios yeah. Yeah. when you use the slump drive. And you just I very rarely use it, only on really, really steep hills. Yeah, and yeah. you've got... Um, three times seven i believe so 21 gears and then the schlumpf as well which gives you an additional in a sense range. Sort of. yeah sort of a high low yeah. jobby going yeah. on there it does actually it's surprising how well it works and so yeah, what have you got surprised. on this side so you've got your, another one of your speakers on this side yeah and, and speaker on this, side. this is the brake for both front yes, wheels that does both yes yeah yep and on here i'm assuming that's the yeah. oh, that's the horn Oh, yeah, we're accelerating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's good I did that. And Sorry. what's this on here? Uh, that's to change the gears. To ah, the high and low gears. Okay. Yeah. But I don't want to do that because I might yep. get my gear stuck. But yeah. Yes, high and okay, low gears. So just leave yeah. that where it is. High and low gears. And uh, what else is there? And also there's a handbrake here. That is a handbrake there. So now it can't cool. go anywhere. So it won't move. And you've got more storage. Got plenty in, of in storage the space yeah. in there. There's bloody loads. And also, I've got some nets at home, which I'm going to put, a, which I need to stick on the front, yeah. which Paul told me about. And then you can have more luggage for the front. Yeah, because then you sense? could utilise that little hatch. Yes. So you could put like some cargo net in hanging yes, up. Yes, like yeah. a cargo net. Yeah. I had the similar. I, in fact, I've got them at home. I Brilliant. just need to stick them in. Yeah. So there's plenty of um, luggage oh, space. And but, so, what's yeah. in there? Is that where your battery goes? Yeah, that's the battery there. And the other battery just slides down here. So you can carry your spare in there? Yes. Well, well I could stick it up here, but That's where the battery goes. That, that battery also fits flat in there quite nicely. Okay. Yeah. But then you've got quite a lot of weight at the top. Cool. So I prefer to have yeah, it Yeah, have it lower. sitting down low for handling. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh, yeah. And that's it. And also, we've got rock shocks on the rear. Ah, I forgot about that. Yes, that was rock 750 shock. pounds yeah. rock shock at the back. So here. it's had quite a the few. Um, beautiful. You can see the suspension work in there just when Richard yeah, was uh, absolutely compressing gorgeous. it. And also, there's a lock on there so you can lock it for racing. So the the upgraded suspension costs nearly a thousand pounds. Yeah. Um, the loop wheels, um, they're an upgrade as well, and yeah, they were it's about 800 pounds for the two for the two wheels. Yeah. So that's another. So that's 18. Um, and also, what we, other upgrades have you done? The motor, or was it this? Was that a standard motor? Or is no, that, no, that's that, an upgrade. That, that is a Falco motor. That's just under four thousand pounds. Fantastic. The Falco motor and the two batteries. Okay. It really is a high-end, high-end yeah. uh, motor system. It's the yeah. very best. But so um, this is like the the, the most pimped, yeah, uh, high-quality exactly sun rider you'll ever I see. I would have thought. Absolutely. And also I got the little cone mirrors from, and I also have spare ones as well. Okay. I've, in fact, I've got so many spares for this at home. Yeah. I've got. I've so got they'll all, all the spares will come with. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, the the motor just it's wireless. Yeah. So everything's in the rear. You can literally take it off, and swap it with a regular wheel. Which, which you which you have. So which you have, have the standard home. wheels. You can hot swap. Take five minutes, and then it will be motorless. Uh huh. Yeah. And also the front. 
if you don't like these loop wheels yeah. for whatever reason i've got the, st the original wheels, the yeah. original wheels with the disc brakes at, at home oh because the loops have drums so yes. you've got this standard wheels with discs yes these come with drum brakes yes these come with um uh what's stanley uh, oh, i forget his name Sturmy archer Sturmy archer the drum brakes yeah, yeah. um yeah. so if uh somebody's thinking of purchasing this um is there an option to purchase it with just the standard stuff or does it come as it is with well, everything would I you prefer, prefer to sell it i prefer to sell it as it is yeah but obviously if someone didn't want the motor system then i could sell it separately i'd consider it yeah it depends john yeah it totally depends someone makes me a sense of, i mean i've spent over twelve thousand pounds yeah yeah so yeah i'm not going to get twelve thousand pounds yeah for it but yeah. if someone made me a sensible offer you could talk business I'd consider it. yeah I'd consider it's it. fair enough anyway Fantastic. Yeah, it's my baby. So, that's, uh, that's the beautiful Sunrider in all its glory, which is, uh, it looks immaculate. Let's take you on a little ride around. We're in Battersea Park at the moment, which is absolutely beautiful. So we've got a really nice backdrop by the, by the River Thames here. And we're at the Buddhist temple, just for a bit of good karma. <laughs> I've also got these lockdown hatches. Ah, that's the right, So this is quite nice. When, the, when you put the lid down, you can lock yourself in and it makes the ride absolutely silent it's so, so nice silent. if you don't put these down yeah. then you get this irritating bang 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 with it's the like roof in, going up and down it's like in my velomobile yeah oh, okay well you can eliminate with these just yeah. brilliant idea that paul the canoe guy the mm -hmm. guy that makes canoes put these on for me and he done a lovely job i'm so pleased with that that actually changed the whole ride because now they, nothing moves it's like connect to those as well yeah she's just beautiful she's beautiful she's beautiful Okay, let's take this rocket, pocket rocket for a spin. Okay, so we're in the Sunrider. It's very cold today, so I've got the lid on. Um, I think I've ridden this a long, long time ago. So this is the first for a while. I'm gonna try and hang on to my um, camera. Okay, so we've got the brake here. All right, let's go. Right, let's kick. Oh, wow. So, okay, so we kicked in the power. <laughs> oh, this is cool. Oh, that works. <laughs> right, we're, mo we're motoring now. Okay, so that's, I haven't pedaled yet. That's just under power, a little bit of gas. I've taken the gas off. And uh, yeah, we're cruising. Let's try the handling. Oh, I need to change up. I need to change up the gear. I've swapped the slip drive back over now. So, there's so many things going on in here. Okay, back into fourth.
get used to this electric motor. It's fantastic. Oh, it rolls really well. I gave it a little, a little boost with the motor. Now pedaling, just trying to brakes. The brakes are sufficient. I think they're 70 mil drum brakes, so uh, not as powerful as the Quest. Sorry, I'm just uh, accelerating. I want to do a lap. All right, let's go around. Okay, so first impressions, very nice. I really would like to, um, I really would like to find somewhere to put this blooming camera. Well, it's a bit wider than my wow, that's for sure. Uh, it's very cosy in here. This uh, Flevo roof is really nice. Um, okay, so with the schlump where it is at the moment, let's put it back. It's just really difficult to pedal. That's better. Okay, so under... I've got my trainers on, so I haven't got the... Uh, it's got different speed play pedals or something in here, which are totally different to uh, mine. You can feel the extra weight, definitely, under power. I'll just give it a bit of welly now. So there is a pe pedal assist option, uh, which you can use which gives you a bit of help whilst pedaling, which I think would be quite nice. I, I think I'd prefer that. Well, you can just touch the gas like that, and that's just really, really nice. Okay, I'm gonna go around this roundabout. And, uh, Pretty cool. It's it's really 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 awesome under power. So I think if I was uh, to own this, I would pretty much use the electric assist all the time and just top it up with the pedal power. And uh, with the range on this battery, it's pretty much possible. So. I mean, you get you really do get a workout. As like now, I'm pedalling without uh, any assistance whatsoever, and I'm doing I don't know 15 uphill, 15 miles per hour but in, in my trainers. So I haven't got the, my physics are in my wow at the moment, and uh, pretty nice. But I really like when the, the when the electric assist kicks in, like now. Let me give you a little view from the outside. Let me show you what I mean. This is, this is without electric assist. <laughs> and this is with electric assist and no pedaling. And now we're flying. I've got a break. <laughs> The problem was I had to switch. The problem is I had to switch hands there because the uh, the brakes are on your right hand and the accelerator is on your left hand. And so I was accelerating. Then there were a few kids in the way on uh, recumbent trikes, so I had to uh, swap hands. <laughs> All good in the hood. Literally, I've got my hood on. It's that cold today. Oh, this is really comfortable though. The suspension. This is the softest suspension I've ever experienced in a Velomobile. It's lovely, it reminds me of my old uh, De Chavaux, my old Citroen TCV. Alright, I'm going to do this without the brakes. Whoa! Oh, scary. <laughs> if I'd have got that wrong, we would have had a big scratch on the side and that would not have been good. Let's give it a bit of power now, show you what this thing can do. Oh, she rolls really, really well. Look at that, that's power off and still cruising. Fantastic. That's just gentle power there. 
<laughs> oh, brilliant. Let's get the brakes just in case this little kid swerves in front of me. You never know. And that, ladies and gents, is the Sunrider in all her glory. Overall impressions, I'd give it uh, an 8 out of 10. Enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> I went a bit further because I was having such a good time. Fantastic, Richard. Absolutely fantastic. So in summary, very nice um, Velomobile. And with the range, you can actually, I thought you wouldn't be able to go further, further afield. With the range of the batteries that are in this Sunrider, the world is your oyster, basically. Yeah, really enjoyed it. Super comfortable. Pleasure to ride. And it's nice that you have the option to use the power assist uh, all the time if you want to, which is really nice. It makes sense. And uh, yeah, super cool. I enjoyed it a lot. And uh, whoever purchases this Bellamobile will be uh, will be really happy with it. So yeah, it's a Sunrider in all its glory. Very powerful motor. Um, Richard, what was the wattage on the, what was the motor again, the power of it? It's a thousand watts, but you can program it. It's a thousand watts, so you can program it. So, so yeah, a super motor. I just used the motor and just turned into a right lazy, lazy git. <laughs> Brilliant, I wish I was riding it back home over that horrible hill, that would be nice. There we are. John, there's one for you, even if you, even if you purchase the motor. <laughs> Acceleration is phenomenal on there. Yeah. So yeah. I basically just turned into a lazy gear was <laughs> using the uh, electric <laughs> assist and um, thoroughly enjoyed it. The, the, mo the electric motor is something else. Um, really, and the loop wheels really work with the front suspension just to make I didn't feel one bump in that thing, which is amazing compared to my crash bang wallop wow. But um, I've come over in the wow anyway. And uh, so we've got both of the bikes together, which is quite nice. Out of the bikes together. So we've got the wow here. And this is both bikes together. You can see that there's a slight height difference. Not so much with the, I think the bonnet of the Sunrider is about the same height as the top of the lid on the wow. And then... Both bikes look fantastic. Is it sport as well? Is it sport as well, is it? Um, is it just transportation? Transportation. Uh, we, we do race them as well with oh, the do? British Human Power Club. Yeah. Oh. You can cruise at like 25, 30 mile an hour because of the aerodynamics. Just yeah, pedal. Of course, of course. Downhill, it's uh, petrified. <laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> Pickles. Pickles.